Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're looking at a, what is it, a crown? Oh, GE. GE. So, what happens is these things continue to click. Like you're turning it on even though it's off. So you can take some electrical contact cleaner and spray it in there. And it might clean it out. It may or may not work, but you can give it a try. I've fixed a few of them like this. So this one here we unplugged because it was continu continuously ticking. I've already sprayed and cleaned out some of these to some degree. I could spray them from the back as well. And ideally what you'd want to do is pull this cover off and spray in that way. That way you can see basically that little white thing is your switch that switch becomes gummed up with as you can see food particles and grease and all that crap so anyway let's plug it in and see what we can do okay we got the plug here behind the fridge we got to pull the fridge out like we might have a little leak here anyway let's pull this out see if we can get to that thing Where is that plug at? That's down there. Let's see. And as you can see, we're plugged in now. And we have no clicking. You don't see this click, the spark gap thing, gappings. Actually, that could be cleaned a little bit too. And so, let's see, uh, see what happens now. A lot of, too much cleaner on that one. <laughs> Guess that works. Sprayed a little bit too much cleaner on that. A little bit too much cleaner on that for comfort. Just let that shit dry for a while. It probably also has a lot of grease too. It actually has something. There's some food or something inside there needs to be cleaned out as well we can take a screwdriver and pull that off but i think we can just clean it out with a toothpick or something and so anyway that's how you fix that okay now they said something about the oven not working so look down here and look in here Let's see this is a glow bar igniter and it is glowing so let's give it a few minutes usually it would take one minute for that to fire up now let's give it a minute here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen eight nine seven eight nine twenty and there it is so it does not immediately fire up so it takes a minute or two at least a minute for that to fire up so that problem is solved. And so that's how you fix an old stove. <laughs> that shut off. Should shut off in a minute. Okay. Uh oh, got a tick up on top now. I'm gonna find out which one it is. I just heard a tick. Maybe it was random. I'm going to spray a little bit more spray in here. This one looks like we might have some creepy critters in here. Okay, so it's going to be this one up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off and clean it real good. It's going to probably be in one of these switches. Is this too much gunk in there? Sometimes you have to take them apart and clean them. Uh, they're not made to be taken apart basically you can see they're riveted together uh, What I've done is drill the rivets out and take it apart and glue it back together Or you could stick a little nut and a bolt in there, but basically the rivets here Yeah Okay, it looks like another round of cleaner did it so I just This thing here is kind of hard to get off. I couldn't couldn't figure out basically it looks like 
In order to get this off, you have to take this whole thing here out, push it back, and then you can get to the mounting screws for this thing. There's two screws on each side here, or one screw here and one screw here, but then there's screws underneath this thing. Now I was looking at it, you can see the, where the little mice chewed on that wire. And uh, who knows how far they got on this thing. I can take this off and look underneath, but it looks like these are the only wires he got right here. Okay, let's give it a try. Well, that one doesn't work. It works a little bit better if you have something over this, like a pot or something. This actually needs to be cleaned and make, make sure this is all grounded. Now that one works. That one works. So it's just this one. We just need to clean the orifice, take this off, clean it. Make sure that little pinhole in there is clean. And hope for the best. Okay, you can see this is quite the rust case here. And ideally this should be uh, de-rusted and high temperature paint painted. Painted with high temperature paint. Because these tend to rust out right here. Once they start to rust out right there, then they become a hazard. And then they won't mount correctly. But this little tube right there was pretty full of soot. That might solve the problem. Um, and then this, these little holes here on the side, you got to make sure those are all good on the side of the burner. I don't know if you can see that very well. Yeah, those, those little holes right on the side, all those little holes got to be clear. And we should be good to go. Okay, so I got this one to work in and you can see basically it's rusted out on the bottom. The flare's coming out from the side. You see the fire down here coming out, which is not a good thing. So it can be JB welded. You can clean it up and put JB weld on. Otherwise, it should have a brand new one. You can clean it up and put JB weld on it temporarily. Uh, or high temperature silicone. Um, but yeah, it should be replaced. Okay, so it's not ticking anymore. That's good. I don't hear any ticks. Do you? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to fix this one. See how it's really corroded around the edge? There's a big gap there. There's a flame that comes out there. Take some sandpaper, clean it up a little bit. Took some electrical cleaner, sprayed that on there, buffed it up again with the sandpaper. Now I got my JB Quick Weld. So the JB Quick Weld uh, will work for a little while. Ideally, you want to use the regular, uh, the regular JB Weld, not the Quick Weld. And ideally, what you want to do is you want to treat this area with some sort of rust, rust inhibitor, like some Osco. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to like stick this stuff on here. The street sweeper blade, it, it, it's really nice because it's tempered steel. I know a locksmith friend of mine taught me that too. Never pass a street sweeper blade out. You can take lock sweeping actually. And so I'm going to get going on this thing because this uh, quick weld is going to start drying in a minute. But yeah, thanks for watching.